There's D.C. I do deals up in D.C. You've got the federal government, so it's insulated, but a very different than Arizona market. The thing about D.C. that's different than Arizona, you can go to Arizona and go into subdivisions where you've got 10,000 houses and they're all pretty much the same. Very easy to determine values and to do a flip. You know exactly what you got. When you're in the areas I'm in between D.C., Charlottesville, Richmond, Hampton Roads areas, most of the neighborhoods, every house is different. There aren't a whole lot of consistencies on a big scale. There might be a neighborhood of a thousand homes that are about the same, but not thousands of them. So it's more difficult to comp. You can turn a corner one way or the other and values will change drastically in some of these markets. But we have the federal government in DC. We have the state government in Richmond, Charlottesville. We have the hospital and the university, UVA. And in Hampton Road, you have the military. So they're very insulated markets and very different. The Outer Banks, the stuff I do down there, it's all coastal development stuff still. So it's all summer destination. I mean, those things are great. I mean, they're like apartment buildings, some of those. They do two, three, four hundred thousand dollars in rent, some of those big houses. And a lot of people are doing really well in the top cell beach areas and down in uh, Carolina Beach with Airbnb because uh, yep. you can buy property so cheap down there. You can do an Airbnb model and generate some really good income. That's not something I'm interested in, but a lot of people are having a lot of fun and doing really well with Airbnb. But right now, I feel really good about suburban neighborhood strip centers, either developing new or buying existing. You just got to know what you're doing and be careful, but you can develop new on those things and get in and out in about an 18 to 24 month turn and generate about a million dollars on a flip, or you can hold it and generate a couple hundred grand a year in cash flow. I really like those. I think those are going to sustain, be good for the long term. I think multifamily is great. Warehouse is great. I love industrial warehouses. I like to repurpose those and do industrial open space concepts where you might have a brewery, you might have a retail distribution person, you might have some artists, you you might have a little bit of a industrial office area, but you know, taking a big warehouse and repurposing it into a multi-tenant type of thing. You might have some of those in Arizona. There's not a lot of that around here. So that's a great concept. And where you get a bunch of other small businesses that kind of share one big industrial building that's been sitting there vacant.